All right, welcome back. Let's let's create a note. So we have this create note button. To wire that up, we need to connect it to an on event. And the ID of that button, we can just look peek in the design screen and click on the button. That's called the create note button. So we would just in our on event, we just say create note button. And all we want that to do is set screen to the create to the add note screen and let's just test it out so we run it and we click the create note button and it takes us to the add note screen all right now that we're here we want to allow the user to type in those type in this text input and type in this text area and then submit so Basically, the note is created on submit, so we need to now wire up the submit note button. So let's go to the code, and let's do an on event, and we'll wire up the submit note button. So the submit note button, when the user clicks submit note, then we want to get the text, get whatever they typed into the note title input, and whatever they typed into the note content area and we're going to save that in a database so let's say let's get the text from the note title input first so we need to create a variable here when we're going to use this throughout our program so we're going to put it at the top and make it a global variable we'll call it var note title and then we'll have another one called note content so we've got two variables created here globally since we put them at the top our whole program knows about them and we'll say that note title, we'll set that equal to whatever they type in the text input. Get text from the, what is it? It's the note title input all the way down here. Note title input. And then note content will be equal to get text from the note content input note content area it's called actually okay so now we have the note title and the note content and we need to save them in a database so to do that we would just do one of these create record commands and we would drop that in right here so we're going to add to our table well of course we have to create the table first so we drop in the create record now let's go to the data tab and actually create our data table. So we just give it a table name here. We're going to call this one notes and we add it. And it's going to have two columns. It's going to have a note title and it's going to have a note content. And it's going to actually then have a third automatically generated column an ID. And we should be thorough. We should go into this gear button and select convert to string and we'll do the same thing we have to convert to string so we want to save that stuff as string so now we have a notes table with a note title column and a note content column and we can go back to the code and we can just say we're going to create a record in the notes table and the column we want to put we give the column name note title and in that column note title we want to put the value of the note title variable so it's handy that we gave our column and our variable the same name. And then we also want to put something in the note content column. And what we want to put in the note content column is whatever the user typed into that text area, which is stored in the note content variable. And then that's all we need to do. Then we have this callback function uh, that will get executed once the record is created. So we can just console.log. We'll just say note and let's log out the ID and we'll say record that callback function is going to give us the record that was created and it's going to have those three columns it's going to have the title note title note content and that ID that automatically generated column so automatically generated row so that's how it works so that's going to create a record so let's try it so if we run it and we want to create a note and we call it our first note 
and we say the content is just getting started and we hit submit so we see logged out to the console note with the record ID of one looks like it was created and we can confirm that by looking at the data table and yes we successfully entered a record into our notes data table in the column we have the value our first note and in the note content column we have just getting started with a little typo we can just go in there and edit that and we can change that to lowercase and a very important after you make an edit to save it a lot of times I forget to do that but so back at the code very simply we created an on event for the submit button that created that got the user input from the text input and stored it as note title it got the user input from text area and it stored that as note content and then it created a record in the notes table and in that record it put uh, in the note title row, no, I'm sorry, the note title column, it put the value of the note title variable, which is right here, whatever they typed in the text input. And in the note content column, it put the value of the note content variable, which is whatever they typed into the note content area. And there we go, created a record in our database.